What's up guys, my name's Luke from Arch and Woods, Style Consultancy and pre owned menswear store. Today I wanted to show off a pair of trousers that we've got in store from probably my favourite brand, Husband's Paris. So it's this pair of trousers behind me. I also thought what we'd do is after we look at this, we'll go into the brand itself. So we look at the website, look at the Instagram and uh, yeah, just go through what I like about it and how I found them out and go from there. So I'm actually not sure how big Husband's Paris is because I speak to people that are casually into menswear and they don't seem to know about the brand. It is quite pricey, so that might turn people off and it is a little bit niche because it's quite a 70s aesthetic and tailoring as well. So maybe that nicheness makes it less of a mass well-known thing. But for the moment I remember seeing the brand uh, was a Mr. Porter video they did with the owner Nicola Gabbard. I've, I've watched it a million times since. I love the cinematography with it. Uh, Nicholas himself is just the coolest guy and these clothes are like obviously made with him in mind but he, he, he just is a symbol of the brand itself and that 70s look, his hair, his whole vibe is very cool. So this is a pair of high-waisted Delon trousers of theirs in this kind of like tan color. Uh, they're 100% cotton, uh, side fasteners, and they're like a European 40, so that's a you like a 32 inch waist or thereabouts. Beautiful pair of trousers. All the details and dimensions are in the product page. I'll put a link in the description of that as well. Uh, so do check them out if you are interested. Surprisingly, you can dress these up and down quite a lot. So obviously you can dress them up. These are quite a formal pair of trousers, essentially with a shirt, a blazer, and, um, and some say loafers or if you sport see later with the brand like Cuban Hills. Or what sometimes I do with something like this is wear them with like a navy chore jacket, especially in the summer because they're super lightweight, loose uh, loose weave, so you can get a lot of air around you. But wearing them with say like a chore jacket or something like that really, really makes it less formal. And I think they pair really well. I like doing that sort of high and low look. And it's a look that I've taken a lot from uh, Matt Haranik from WM Brown Project. So he likes to pair chore jackets with trousers like this. It's a really nice summer sort of vibe, but also something a little bit different as well. So yeah, do check out the store for that. Uh, so I'll put everything in the description. So let's get onto the website. So they changed quite a lot with the seasons, obviously lighter colors, little more lighter materials. So I haven't actually looked at this for a while, so I'm actually not sure what we're gonna see. Um, the first item I bought of theirs, which is actually at the tailors at the moment because I'm having the sleeves redone, is this gun check uh, wall blazer, big lapels. Um, uh, it was uh, when it came up uh, pre owned, I was like, snap, snagged it straight away. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, and to say that the, the aesthetics of the brands is so 70s, it's very, um, it's very in the image of the Serge Gainsbourg's, the Jacques de Trance, that French vibe but they also use italian tailoring techniques as well and english materials also like tweeds and things like that so it's a really cool mix but yeah let's get into it websites in french you used to be able to put it into english so i'm not sure how we're going to get on here uh, it's, it used to be quite hard to to get through even in english so we'll see so first up we've got this double breasted notch lapel so that i've noticed recently they used to have like a lot of more sort of like peak lapel -y things but they've gone for more of a notch recently and it's interesting with like a double breasted jacket as well so that's very counter of what a lot of people are doing now okay so immediately with these looks it's like chambray share with some bright white trousers really interesting and like interesting color mixes nothing i would think of putting together but i think it works really well and it's the, I really want a pair of these boots, these like Cuban Hill boots, they're so cool. Let's go into classics. So as you see, uh, slim, very slim sort of cuts, but like big, nice lapels. Strong structure, um, strong structure on the shoulders, and also relatively long with the jacket. Also, straight arms. Ah, oh, I really like this off-white blazer that's out of stock. This is just something that I would want and would just never wear. 
like the opportunities to wear this are, are slim this jacket but i would be really tempted if i saw it on like on a pre-owned site they've moved now into a lot of v-neck jumpers which is again very counter what a lot of people well a lot of brands are now moving into this but it's you know from the days of the deep v's it's hard to switch back to that even wearing like v-necks at school with a with your school uniform it's it's hard to be like okay this is becoming a thing again but i did a video on alex turner recently and he was literally wearing jumpers similar to that and some trousers similar to this these these gray ones here um so the evening wear seems to be super popular with Emily. Knitted tires. Another thing. Okay. There's so much stuff on this website. It's really hard to maneuver. I hope it's showing okay on, on the screen. So they've gone more to dubbed into the denim shirts as well. So £280 for like a Western shirt. Personally, if I'm spending that money, unless you like have all the money to, to spend that on, which I which is fine. But if you're looking to if you're looking in your budget, I'd just say go with a vintage sleeve eyes. Um rather than spending all your money on on that. If you're gonna spend that money, buy a suit from theirs, you know. Let's go to the I'm not gonna do a French accent. So these are similar to the trousers that we've got up here uh just like in a slightly different shade very similar sort of cut high-waisted um these are belt loops where these are side fasteners but similar sort of shapes that's nice this um look, black black and white mix speak all of their all of their blazers are very similar shape so once you sort of see one silhouette you know them all in that sort of way like they'll do different materials different textures um but the actual shoulders the length of the jacket the curvature of the uh the bottom of the jacket as well of the lip is um all the same they have their signature style same with the trousers And they've gone more into, I think, selling these jeans as well. There's t-shirts. The shirts are nice. Um, again, pretty simple, but just nice, just quite nice color palettes. The tires are very, oh, it's like 80s now. Again, with these tires, like, I mean, if you really like them, but I, I find to get something similar with these tires, if you're looking for a cheaper option, uh, search vintage Dior tires. We've got a couple actually in store. If you search on uh, on the site, I think you can find them. Uh, but you can, you can pick them up from a lot of places. Vintage Dior tires, and you get these like wild sort of eighties, seventies, eighties patterns with them. This is what I'm, this is what I mean. Like a double, they're double breasted suit. We had one in store. Um, it wasn't in my size, so it was never really an option for me. But Oh, I loved it so much. It's this pinstriped, similar sort of double breast to this grey one at the top left. And yeah, it's just beautiful. The velvet is a, is a good shout. Yeah, this one is like the one I've got, except I think my one, God, it's been a while since I've had it, is two button rather than uh, like a three roll, three roll two. I've actually bought a, so I've got a, a Tux, a Drake's Tux blazer, and I really want like a, a proper dress shirt to go with it with a bit, of, a bit of a rough going on. So that's something I want to add to the, the wardrobe at some point. This is lovely, so I have brown. So I've got a brown tailoring session at the moment, and this looks like a brown suit. So some people might be thinking as well, like, what's the difference of buying one of these and actually going vintage and buying, say, one from the 70s? And there is quite a bit. I mean, obviously you've got modern, modern milled materials, so they're 
they're softer. There's a lot of, of, of suits from that sort of time that are like coarse, uh, coarse wool, not very comfortable to touch, quite rigid as well. Um, so the, the material wise, I mean, unless you're getting a sort of secondhand Savile Row suit, possibly, uh, there's a big difference with that. Also, the cuts are just super much more modern as well. So uh, when you buy a, uh, so I have a few, I've had, actually have a few clients that bought these sort of, have gone for vintage suits, so like 70 suits to sort of attain this look. And they're not sure why it doesn't, just doesn't look right. Look, the fact is their their sleeves are often bigger and bulkier. They just weren't put together in the same sort of way. The structure just isn't there and the techniques just aren't there to make it like a really nice crisp suit. Whereas this is like what you'd see in the movies. This is something you see like Alain Delon wear. Um, and it's got that sleekness to it. It's just got the, the, the right structure to fit around the body just that little bit more. To, to get that look back then, you, most of the suits you find in the vintage store aren't like the high end, super like Savile Row suits. So it's unlikely, it's like potluck. You might find something for you. Uh, you also might have a body structure that fits perfect. But fits much better to these suits. Whereas I, as a 5'8 person, um, with sort of like kind of broad shoulders, like it just doesn't quite work for me. After we're going to Pretta Porta. So yeah, we're seeing just this, essentially the same sort of stuff. It's it's stuff I absolutely love in in terms of the structure of the suit, but it's the same sort of thing. This blazer is pretty sick. This grey one. Um, but you get the idea of the brand itself and what it's trying to show. High waisted trousers. Um, this is similar to the one I bought actually. This doesn't tell the cut. Just a different pattern within it, um, which I just love. Look at that, 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 the pearl, that like big chunky peak lapel, uh, that big chunky notch lapel, and the straight sleeves, the long jacket. Um, it's just such a such a beautiful blazer. I would. I mean, this is nice. This is um, corduroy. That's nice. Because it'd also be nice to have this sort of like strong structure with a softer fabric, like a corduroy as well. Something smooth. Uh, this jacket's pretty cool. This, And they're still doing ones with like, say here, the much bigger lapels. Uh, that that's a that's a sick jacket. Oh, I just want to buy I'll buy these. These are always the hardest for me to let go from the store. This is the best page. Like I'd even like even this here, this sort of pinstripe off white blazer. I would wear this, like, I would never wear this from an, I don't think from another brand. I'd, I'd, I'd need this exact structure to the blazer for me to be like, yeah, this works. And I'd wear it with a denim jacket shirt. I'd wear it with a denim shirt. I'd wear it with the high waisted trousers. It'd be like exactly what they've put here. So their styling, although some of it's like a bit wacky, uh, their color mixes, their uh, pattern mixes, sometimes, they're, most of the time they absolutely nail it. But yeah, I think the big takeaway um, with this, with their stuff, is they've moved more to sort of like denim, denim shirts, more jeans. Obviously, lighter colours for the summer, and um, yeah, it's, it works well with their their general vibe. <coughs> Said journal saying, "You can get this in English." I really, I mean, I'm, unless I'm miss, missing something on the actual screen. Uh, you can get this in English. I'm just not sure why I'm, I've not been able to. I don't know where to go in terms of the the brand itself. So let's check out husband's here. So yeah, they, their their aesthetic's very simple. Just get a very uh, slender, tall model. Um, to wear their clothes, they cut off their heads most of the time and 
He shows off the coast well. Like, this is the most. The photography technique is very simple, just a, 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 probably a quick flash. What's going on here? Just, uh, yeah, it's just like a, a bare bulb sort of flash. This doesn't look like something for theirs. This is strange. Don't particularly like that jacket, that coat. They did this thing with Gucci's fault um, this summer as well, which I tried to find my info on, but it's almost come up. These are the boots, man. Buckle boots, high, what were we saying? 1.8 inches at the hill. I could do with those 1.8 inches. But yeah, this is the more sort of their classic sort of stuff. Yeah, I guess it's the more the wintry sort of clothes. Do a little bit of a flare to the trousers here. Yeah, no, that's it. Work. So he, I'm not someone that's gifted with super long legs, but when you do wear sort of like trousers like this, it does give you that illusion of elongating your legs, slimming them out a little bit as well. Um, so they are really helpful for that. Uh, I don't feel like I, I've got a pair of navy ones, and yeah, they do the best job of any sort of trousers I've had at all in sort of like elongating the silhouette. So yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick sort of overlook. Um, let's actually, I'll show you Nicholas Cabal as well. So I can't butcher his name. Have I ever spoke it wrong? Husbands. Yeah, I'll show you Nicholas Cabal as well from the owner. And you can just get a good idea. So that here. The, the, the suit, he's just the coolest guy. He's got like, wavy hair. The suits look great on him. This is the video. I'd recommend anyone to watch it. Um, so it's on Mr. Porter. It's called uh, Meet the Man Searching for Meaning in a Suit. And it's um, on their journal page. This is their sort of older pig lapel blazers. And a young, young Nicholas. So yeah, they were using denim back then, because this is an older photo. I, I don't, I don't, I don't remember them actually selling denim shirts, but they obviously did. But yeah, very cool. But anyway, I just thought it'd be worth looking through the brand itself, just going over what their website's showing at the moment. Um, let me know what you think. Do you like Husbands as a brand? Uh, is it a little bit too niche for you? Or is it something that you maybe would like to wear, but just maybe put off by the, the price as well? Do check out our store though. We do have a couple of pieces of theirs. This one uh, is in the store currently. So any questions about that, it's hello at archimus.com. If you are interested in the style consultancy as well, uh, check out Archimus for that. And it's under the little style consultancy tab. Um, any questions, hit me up. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.